thanks so much for tuning in. Today is another anthropology dupe, and today we are duping their tassel chandelier. On their website, it's listed at $220, and we're gonna make it for under $25, and you can even go cheaper than that, and you'll see why. But before we get to that, please don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already done so, and please give me a thumbs up. Anyway, let's get started. So first we're gonna start with our thread. The red hard thread to the left is from Walmart and it's $1.99 and I needed two to complete the whole project. And the one to the right is cotton twine from Dollar Tree. And when I tried this project before, it took me eight packs to complete. So Walmart was definitely the better buy and I feel it looked a lot nicer. So to make the tassels, I'm going to do it the same the way I've done it in every video, which is grab a piece of my string and drape that on a mason jar lid. And then I'm going to grab some more string and wrap that around that. So I'm going to trim off the excess string and then the two pieces up top, I'm going to tie them really, really well in place. So now I'm going to slide this off of the lid and cut the bottom. And then I'm going to grab some more string and wrap that around the top and tighten that really, really well. So once I've tightened that, I am just going to clean up the rest with my scissors so that it looks nice and neat. And that's it, you have a tassel and you're going to make about 100 of these. So I probably spent about $9 on embroidery hoops at Walmart, but you can go to the thrift store and find them for much cheaper. So you have two ways of doing this. You can either put this on a cake plate and tie them in place and once you cut it just add a little bit of glue so it doesn't move out of place and this was just easier for me because i was filming but you can also do this on a table and follow the exact same steps and here i'm just going to show you how many tassels i needed just to cover and i believe this is the middle one this isn't even the largest embroidery hoop so you really need to dedicate some time to this so now when everything is done, you're going to take the small hoop and put it in the middle hoop and the large one on top of that. And what you're going to do is take some string and cut them all to the same length. And I think I did six inches. And for every hoop, I added three pieces of string. So I'm going to connect the small one to the middle one and the middle one to the large one. So then I'm just going to do them across from each other. You can add as many as you'd like. It all depends on how heavy yours is and how sturdy your string is. So once you've tied those all into place, you should be able to lift them with no problem. And now to be able to lift this onto the actual ceiling, I'm gonna use this Dollar Tree planter and I just removed these metal pieces. And with this Rust-Oleum metallic paint, this is supposed to be their rose gold, but it doesn't have a shade. I just gave it a coat of that, and when it was finally dry, I attached it to the chandelier the same way that it would go on the planter. And if it doesn't fit perfectly, depending on how big your embroidery hoop is, you can always E6000 it into place. For lighting, you have a few options. You can use this bottle lamp kit from Walmart, which was $6.47, and just hook this over your desk and plug it directly into the wall. Or you can use an Amazon kit, which is $8.41, and have this installed into your actual ceiling. I also recommend using the Dollar Tree LED lights, and you can just put them right in the middle if it's or a kids room and then glue the battery pack to the side or you can hot glue the lights directly onto the top and then drape the lights inside and that's it guys you have a beautiful anthropology inspired chandelier if you found this video helpful please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and thank you so so very much for watching